Real America's Voice is committed to covering the chaos on the border. So we sent Ben Berkwam and Oscar Ramirez down into Central America to track the migrants. Well, on day four of Ben and Oscar's epic journey, tracing the routes that illegal aliens take to get to the United States, they arrived at Puerto Limon, Panama, with dozens of illegal migrants who just made their trek across the jungle as well. Well, Ben interviewed some of them and found that some are startling, uh, startlingly filled with information. Take a look at this. Ecuador? Uh, Haiti. Haiti? 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 Somalia. Somalia, Somalia, okay. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Somalia. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Nepal. Nepal, another Nepal. India. 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 China? Yeah. China? No Xi Jinping. No Xi Jinping. No Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. Cuba. 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 And China. China. All right. Yeah, no Xi Jinping. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. How, <laughs> she, 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 she. Yeah, yeah. How, how many days did it take you? Um, several days, actually weeks. Weeks? Yeah. Wow. 13 days, that's two weeks. Almost. Yeah, two weeks. In, in the jungle the whole time? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Where did you... So you Depending with the people and how they can afford, some can make their... The, 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 the shorter? And going by boat. Yeah. Others don't have much. So you went the long route? Yeah. And so you're from Somalia. Yeah. What route did you come from Somalia to get here? A, a lot of countries, no. uncountable. More than almost 15 countries. Wow. Yes. So Somalia to Kenya, to to Suriname, Suriname to Guyana, Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, uh, and then Ecuador, and then Colombia. Yeah, Colombia. And Panama, then yeah. and now Panama. Wow. Yeah. Long journey. Based on everything you guys see, do, do, does uh, America does it seem like the borders are open? Yeah, we believe so. That's why we are here why they're there. The borders are wide open. Well, joining me now is Real America's voice correspondent and the man that shot that video you just watched. Ben Burkholm is here. Ben, welcome. Thank you, Grant. Ben, I'm uh, fascinated by the sheer number of countries you saw. Uh, I want to get to the Chinese in a second, but that gentleman that you, you said had come through 15 different countries. How does someone like that afford to go to 15 different countries and get here? Where are they getting the money for this? Well, it, that it's a great question, because if you had the amount of money that it takes, because each one of those countries, obviously, you have to get a visa on most of those. You have to obviously buy the airline tickets. You don't you don't walk to those countries and then you go across the ocean. Uh, but then he said he took the it was a 13 day journey through the Darien Gap. We did it in three and a half. And we went the you know, the the cheaper route or excuse me, the more expensive route by boat first and then went up and over. So it doesn't make sense to me why he would go the 13 day route uh, unless he's he's out of money at that point. Maybe he spent it all. But, uh, you know, you, you meet people from all over the world that are coming here. You saw that we're seeing huge numbers from China now, um, huge numbers from Africa, West Africa, the, the Middle East. Ev I mean, everywhere. It's really just everywhere. And what I found is it's it's uh, not what you'd necessarily expect. You have a lot of well to do people. When I was in uh, uh, Eagle Pass the first time and, and Acuna, we actually saw a group from West Africa that had come across. It was a mom and dad, their multiple children, six or seven children, their uh, their grandma and grandpa, aunts and uncles, and they were wearing Gucci bags, brand new clothes. Uh, so a lot of people are coming illegally with a lot of money because they've heard the doors are open. This is the way to do it. Why, why wait in line for 10 years to get a visa? Just cut in front of the line. And so you get both of that. You get p people that are desperate, but you also get people that are have, have plenty of money and they just want a, the, the free ride and they want the free things once they get here. Uh, the people that can't afford it, this is we've confirmed this over and over and over. And actually, we had the rare opportunity. That it was actually the first time they've ever done this. Centerfront, the special forces of Border Patrol for Panama, escorted us across the entire Darien Gap. And what they've told us is the people that can't afford it become drug smugglers for the drug smugglers that are coming across there. And basically, uh, they help hide the, the trafficking, the drug trafficking that's going on across the, the uh, Darien Gap and ultimately up into the United States. So it's a combination of things, but ultimately it's all controlled by the left. It's all controlled by the cartels and this unholy alliance between the NGOs and sadly the Democrats in Washington, D.C., who clearly, based on yesterday's State of the Union, do not care.